here are my five tips when you go to a networking event of how to properly network what I think is the right way. Number one, and I think this is the most important one, is to simply just act like a normal person and have normal conversation, not just all about you and your business. I think far too often people go into a networking event so selfishly looking for business for themselves that they never actually hear what other people do and or learn about what other people like or what they're about in the first place. So I like to make sure that anyone that I meet, I get to know them, ask them what they do, ask them where they're from, they have kids, they have family, like just get to know them as people and wait till they honestly ask what you do and then you can tell them what you do. If you haven't figured this out already, people really like to talk about themselves. So asking them questions about them will get a much better response and will really break down any walls whatsoever to get them to want to learn more about you as well because people like working with people they like. Number two, ask for their business card before they ask for yours because naturally, if they ask for yours or if you selfishly reach for yours first and then you say, oh, do you have one? They kind of know that you've already gotten your initiative, which is to get your business card in their hands rather than the opposite, where they feel like you genuinely may be interested in what they're offering and then in turn, they may want your business card. Create the upper hand by asking for their business card first. Number three, on the topic of business cards, I prefer to not even have them. What I did is actually set up a link tree, and in that link tree are all the links to what I would want them to check out. So my personal website, my LinkedIn profile, my Instagram, my YouTube, my Scaling Creative website, my Pressure Washing Company website, all of those things are in one dedicated link tree. And what I like about link tree rather than a business card is that they have everything in front of them in a very clean and professional format. Now I take it a step further and I actually create a QR code that when they scan with their phone, it takes them to that link tree. That's really good for two reasons. Number one, they're gonna get a lot of business cards at a networking event and they probably will lose some or forget about some of them. When they scan your QR code, it will allow them to just open it up right in Safari. Chances are they will scan it, they will open it right up just to see what it is, and then they'll turn their phone back off. The next time they go to open their phone, it's going to be up there and remind them of it, and they'll actually have to close that web browser to not have it up anymore. And it becomes much more useful because now they can click any of those links and learn more about you instead of just hoping that they go to the links that you actually put in your website or your business card, right? Tip number three, I guess B, is if you're going to use business cards, make sure that they are really nice business cards. Make them super thick. Yes, they cost a little bit more money, but they will stick out. Every time I hand someone my business card, I always get the comment, oh, those are really nice business cards. It's memorable. Plus, when they have a whole stack of them, yours are gonna feel different than most, and they will kind of naturally lean to grab it faster to see whose that was. Number four, do your best to try to find something that would be a topic of conversation when you meet them for the very first time. Maybe they're wearing a pair of shoes you like or a shirt you like or pants or whatever. Maybe they just have a pair of glasses. Maybe they have a phone case you like. Relate to something when you introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Scott, how are you? Jeff, I couldn't help but notice your shoes. I love your shoes. I don't know, something, you know what I mean? But just basically relating to them, complimenting them on something that they actually have in front of you really helps people to just kind of be like, hey, that was nice of you, thanks. A lot of people are just gonna go up to people and say, my name is, what's your name? What do you do? What do I do? Boo, 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 boo. If you can be a little bit different in your conversations, you can have more success. And probably the most important thing is, number five, don't try to close any deals when you're at this event. Business comes through relationships and through cultivating relationships and don't expect to get anything from this random event that you're at that specific night. Learn more about people. Connect with people on LinkedIn if you can because it reminds you where you actually met them from. Another great tip is to actually utilize something like LinkedIn to connect with them right there. If you can find them on LinkedIn, send them a message right in front of them to just say, hey, this is Scott from the networking event. What it will do is put it in your inbox and remind you that you sent them a message and remind you that's where you met them and simultaneously it gets them to connect with you and they can see what kind of stuff you're working on as well. LinkedIn is obviously the best networking 
that you can ever do because it's basically a networking event at all times where you're seeing what people do, what their names are, and it's just a super, super powerful way. It's how I get all of my business. But if you're actually gonna do in-person events, still try to network and make sure that you connect with them on LinkedIn because it's a great place that you're gonna be able to continue to have conversations after the fact. And it's much easier to have conversations once you actually have them directly connected in LinkedIn than it is trying to sort through all these business cards and hope that you remember who people were. So those are my five tips. I'm gonna go put them into practice and I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching, see ya.